Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Here is a short video that covers the schema management capabilities in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. For schema management, Database Management Service provides Users section and User Details section. Under the Users section, you can view the users created in the Oracle database, identify the user account status, expiration date, and profile. And if you want to click and understand more about the users, you can click on the users link, get to the user details section, where you could view the privileges, roles, and profiles that are assigned to that particular user, including consumer group privileges, proxy users, system and object privileges, etc. In order to use this section, the database user should be having the following privileges, which could be the DBA users, DBA role privs, DBA tab privs, and so on and so forth. Now it's time for a short demo. Let me take you through these features quickly. I am in the managed database details page. In the context of a database named as MFG, under resources section, you would be seeing a link for users. If you click on users, you would see the list of database users that are created in the database, which is the manufacturing database. And along with that, you would be able to see the account status, user expiration, profile, default table space, temporary table space, when was this user created, etc. Quick look at this, you would be able to see that most of the accounts are in a locked state. Some of them are expired and locked. The DBSNMP user here has an account status as open, which does not have any user expiration at all. So if you want to alter the user so that it has a user expiration date, it is a good candidate. My interest is to search for a user called as MFG admin. So if I type MFG on the search bar, it would search for the user and I get the user named as MFG ADM. I could see that the account status is open. The user expiration is getting to be there. It's in December, so I might be ready to alter the user so that the expiration is not causing any problems from a database administration perspective for me. If I click on this link, I would be able to see that the user has an authentication which is based on password, the default consumer group assigned to this particular user, the profile, the roles that are assigned, DBA, PDB, underscore DB, and select catalog, system privileges, which includes advisor system privilege, unlimited table space, select in a dictionary, execute on DBMS workload repository. This would quickly tell me if I'm eligible to use most of the DB management features like the SQL tuning advisor, usage of Performance Hub and AWR Explorer feature, and also a couple of features which includes table space monitoring, etc. Beyond that, if you want to understand more about consumer group privileges or proxy users or any kind of container data access which pertains to cross-container data access from a container database perspective, you would be able to see that here as well. So that concludes this demo here. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.